assume that they, he George probably Washington got, got them. Teeth. So to make him look bad, you're going to say he got him from a slave or he exploited somebody. But here's the here's the truth about he George Washington. He ripped teeth out of people's heads. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we're checking out Charles Gage destroys transgender Marxist activist. Guys, let's get straight into this. Look, are we going to ignore the fact that the founding fathers were incredibly racist? Do you think that they oh, were? Oh, like, okay. So you think they were racist? Of course they were racist. So then, why did they try where, to abolish slavery? Where did George slavery? Washington get his teeth? Okay, so how many states decided to no, make no, the no, Northwest actually, Territories? Answer this question. Answer this question. Where did George Washington get his teeth? They were blended individuals, no doubt, mixed. But you know what? You and I both have in common. No, no. I want to answer the question because I want to make sure that your audience. Knows I, exactly I would assume where that they, he probably got, got them. Teeth. So to make him look bad, you're going to say he got him from a slave or he exploited somebody. But here's the here's the truth about he George Washington. He ripped teeth out of people's heads while they were alive. Here, he ripped teeth out of people's heads. Here's the truth about George Washington. To put in his mouth. Outside of your Nicole Hannah Jones highly emotive argument, everybody has something in common. We're born into a world we didn't create, and every one of these founding fathers. We're born into a world where slavery was everywhere. By the time they died, it was on its way out. Do you know That's what an Thomas incredible said about moral slavery? good. It wasn't on its way out when they were all dead. Hold on a second. How many states abolished slavery by the time the Constitution you know was? Payne How many states slavery? abolished slavery by 1787? Nine out of 13. So okay. a majority of states had already abolished it. Northwest Territories. Why they structure the Constitution Hold on. in such a way to give One slave second. states more representation? Happy to walk through it. How ma Northwest Territories, first act of Congress, free or slave, slave, slave area? Free. Unanimous. Article 6 of the Northwest Territory. First state to abolish slavery. Vermont, 1777. Inspired by the writings of the Declaration. First anti-slavery convention. 1775. Chaired by Benjamin Franklin. When is slavery? But George Washington United said States? it's not a matter. It's not a question of if. It's a matter of when we abolish slavery. When Thomas is, Jefferson admonished King George in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence, that means very saying little. that slavery is a great evil that we blame King George he for. Was also very Thomas angry. Jefferson abolished he was also very angry the slave at trade into America. Hold on a second. For telling them they couldn't One keep second. killing indigenous folks. Thomas Jefferson said very clearly in the, the Virginia House of Commons in 1790 that we must abolish slavery. He abolished the importation of new slaves as one of his first act of president in March of 1807. The founding fathers fought you tooth and nail as a result to of that abolish policy. slavery. So you have a misrepresentation, an you intentional know, you know polemical argument to try to misrepresent the great heroes of the founding fathers. When they banned the importation of slaves, what happened? What ended up happening was the slave trade went down, Eli Whitney creates the cotton gin, and a whole new debate of slavery gets reignited. No, see, that's actually not true, right? The reality well, is, do you know happening? what happened? The slave trade, I guess, went down, if you're talking about international trade. The United States up set up literal farms where human beings were bred. Human beings were bred no, no, and forced no. to get pregnant Slavery was going down to dramatically to in the 18-teens. slavery. 18 teens, it's going down. Nine out of 13 states wait, wait, that abolished it. Wait, you were talking it. about the 1770s, North, and now all of a sudden no, no, we're at the 18 teens. Hey, guess what? We just guess what? Guess years. what? Thomas Jefferson was president in 1807. So you've got to get your ears right, okay, before we talk about this. So he was sworn in in March of 1807. He was governor of Virginia in 1790. Wrote the declaration in 1776. So when did slavery end in the United States? Great question. It began to end in 1777, a process of decoupling from an ancestral evil where we have more people in the world right now that are, in sla that are slaves today than back then. The process began 1820s, the debate reignites because of John C. Calhoun, the creation of the cotton gin. We fight a war over it. We win the war and slavery is abolished. That's a pretty awesome track record for a country that inherited an evil that every other country prior to it had. It was the West that got rid of slavery. It was William Wilberforce. It was John Edwards. It was George Whitfield. It's easy to kind of do your thing like, well, it's terrible. It's bad. Yes, it's easy slavery to call balls and strikes not. on a society you didn't create. The it's United easy <laughs> to try to lecture the rest of the country. Be like, you know, these people are so terrible for something you didn't toil for or sacrifice for. Have an ounce toil. of gratitude they, they were for what owners. these people they created in the country you it get to Wait, I, I, I understand that I'm black. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. But like, I understand I'm black. And bro, slave was a norm. See, slave, slave was a norm. And black was not the only slave. There were different kinds of people being slave. Like, different, even black, even in African, there were African slaves. Like, it's... It was a norm. So you seeing this person having sleep, this person having like it's a norm. So they trying to say for the fact that they had sleep, it's their bad it does not make sense because bro, that era slavery was a norm. Everyone's supposed to have sleep. Like it's like you having a household, you bought them. If right now, like you can pay someone to do everything a slave would do for you. And I, I really don't see the difference. You can some people beat their household and same thing, you beat a slave. 
some people rip the house help things and some people rip that stuff like I really don't see what the guys trying to point out because like for a fact slavery was a norm. You really even if I'm trying to abolish it does not mean I'm not gonna take advantage of it. Like I have to use it for me to know that yo, this thing is wrong and I think we should stop. And they tried and it stopped. But like I really don't understand what the other guy was going about because everyone has slave. Like, that's how you make your life easy. You're supposed to have slave. It, it was a norm. So I really don't get it. Like, I really don't get what he was going at. But like, guys, please, if you can clarify, please leave it in the comment section because I honestly do not understand what he was going at. But guys, tell me what you think about this. So just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Please.